Okay, left cheekbone, upper jawbone, lower jawbone, right eye punch, nasal bone, all varying degrees of fracture. Left collarbone, completely fractured. Upper left carpus and middle left hand bone, completely fractured. Right shoulder dislocated. Right ulna, metacarpus, and carpal bones, completely fractured. Ribs number three and four of the right rib completely fractured. Ribs number five and six of the right rib cage found fractures. Ribs number four through six of the left rib cage completely fractured. Ribs number seven and eight of the left rib cage compound fracture. Right femur partially fractured. Right tibula, left tibula, both menstruals completely fractured. Not to mention all the various spreads, bruises, cuts, and lacerations. In total, I have 48 distinct locations. Is it distinct? If you listen to it out like that, it sounds like I had got a fight with a dump truck or something. I was surprised they even made it to the hospital in one place. To be honest though, I would have been okay with dying. It wasn't that I had no regrets. I had just kind of reached the zen state. Like if I was going to die so maybe it would have been better to say if I just stopped caring. That fight had been excitement for one life. I lost the world to do anything. I barely paying attention to the world around me. I stopped giving a shit about myself either way. Despite my rather unhealthy mental state, my body recovered quickly enough to shock even the doctor's attention. More than a little ironic. Honestly, there was a part of me that wanted to laze around in that hospital a little longer. But I suppose there simply wasn't enough beds to keep some holy fire lying around forever. The hospital staff told me that I needed to get out of there if I was well enough to be walking around. I really had no choice in the matter. I wasn't a fan of I. Oh, the idea of someone who actually needed care being turned away was of my selfishness. It was the, for the best that complied with the staff's request. Regardless of my feelings, the world will keep on, on turning. They said, that's time stopped for no man, after all. No turning back. What was done was done. It's just a sky. I don't understand that. It's like, I just started with a sky. Right now, the important thing was about what will come next. It didn't matter whether or not I was capable of doing it. I had to face the fact that it was necessary, period. That was the only way I would ever be able to move forward. So I decided to walk out there with a smile on my face, one way or another. I headed back to my room to pick up my things and take care of the checkout procedures. Of course, the only real personal effects I have brought with me were some changes of those clothes and empty I had spent two months in the hospital room, but for cleaning it up, it would probably only take around five minutes. It ended up taking ten, but hey, same difference. The extra five were results of having to clean up all the junk that customers brought in while visiting. There were various comics, novels, and even adult members. I seriously don't know what she was thinking, though, these scattered all over the place. More than a dozen total. Rather than dealing with them myself, I decided to send them all back to the other patient that seemed to make sure to get two last lights to party jazz. I was never good at dealing with situations like this. I doubt anyone will call me a social type, but thanks to Katsu, the other patients will often strike up conversation. Oh my gosh. It would be awkward to just ignore them completely after all. My responses were always half assed. Half assed? But they didn't seem to mind. Hospitals generally have a gloomy atmosphere about them, so it's only natural that someone curious like Cass will draw attention. I took my bag and turned to leave. But at that moment, Sure, being just as messed up as I was, I'd also take it to this hospital. The bastard did this for three days after his surgery and had six cents. Yeah, exactly. What Shiro was up to was none of my business. I need to start worrying about him for a bit. Such a good job. I stepped out of the hospital room, putting it all behind me once and for all. I have been months since I been last been outside the hospital. The vast blue sky spread out very finely above me. In the two months I have been hospitalized, autumn had turned to winter. 
I suddenly became curious as to where they were really putting up Christmas decorations downtown. I decided it might be fun to experience my own version of the whole rip than I was more experience. I needed to change the place from the door seat. I have been stuck staring at from the hospital window anyway. Maybe this will help me bring, get back into the swing of things. Unfortunately, even downtown, there was but the barest trace of the Christmas spirit I had been expecting. It made me realize again just how laid back Swarovar's city really was. Swarovar was built back around the time of World War II. Despite being an isolated location, it was nevertheless fairly prosperous thanks to the efforts of the part of the big shots in charge of the place. When Swarovar lacked a history tradition and made up for the tourist attractions, there was a number of faculties to draw the across with such an amusement park that was famous nationwide, you could call it a small town success story. Of course I only moved there two years ago myself, so I wasn't really one to talk. I was definitely a fan of the landscape and generally atmosphere of the city though. It seemed like a heretic place at first glance, but things moved slower so hard than one might think. Once you got used to it, it was re as relaxing as a baby's cradle. Of course, most people will tell you the exact opposite, that Swore Horror was a lovely place with bustling atmosphere, but I did know a few other people who agreed with my essence, such as Himaru and Shihiro. It wasn't like you could say that either line of thinking was right or wrong, so I didn't feel like trying to argue with people who just live and let live, I guess. Anyway, my first foray into the city in two months didn't end up changing my impression of it much. In the end, I just came with the boring conclusion that it was the same city as ever. Right as I was about to head back. A piercing well ache to the shrink at Banshee rang out from behind me. So much for enjoying a quiet so much for enjoying a quiet afternoon. Do I really want to go? <laughs> wow. It was at times like this I questioned why I even was even friends with this girl. In the first place, who would consider it was a good idea to start yelling someone's name in the middle of the street like that? Ow. I want nothing more to tell her yes. I was in a great deal of pain right just now. And she just flew. I just well made something good on the shoulder. But I still for just giving her a dirty look. That was Kasumi Yisi, my childhood friend of the same age. She was the head of the kendo club at our school. As you can probably tell by this incident, she was ambitious enough to have competed at the national level several times. And here she was giving me the same wide smile as usual. As for this sort of upbeat attitude with one of her strengths. It was the middle of the day. Why was she at school? Oh, I knew. I threw up my hands. That's nice. I was glad to see that I still beat you with that full form again today. She said as she violently slapped me on the back, it hurt like a bitch. It hurt so much. I wasn't exactly expecting her to skip school just to pick me up, but it would have been a pain to ask to wait around that long. I tried to explain my line of thinking, but Kazumi wasn't happy at the bit. No. Definitely not. Just no. <laughs> I 
As if he's tacked away myself, but if he tap away, I like it. So I'm basically playing as red. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you never want to get beat by a girl, I swear. That insult! Oh my later, what the heck? Kazuya seriously needs to cool before she passes the bank. She was the one acting unreasonable here. Maybe she'll count out if I actually did the whole my angel thing, but I really did not feel like going through that. Her face, oh my god! Alright, did just the thing to shut her up. お前が病室に持ち込んだ諸々は家の方に送っといたぞ。はい。捨てるわけにもいかないだろう。だから家に送ったんだよ。気が利くだ。ちょい待ち。全部。そう、全部。で、彼女ボックスのポストマンクを持
There are a few things that just like me to that my fist looks pretty. Back when I was a kid, I used to be in sync for a girl all the time. Unpleasant marriage, to say least. Any of us teaching, it still happens from time to time, despite the fact that I was hardly short in or anything. Scouts trying to recruit female models have called out to me on this video for more than one case. They're the kind that deal with a blow to your pride as a man. Wait. Somebody called a girl? I'm being played as a trap right now. That's literally what it means. I decided to let Kasumi to have a piece of my mind. <laughs> Rejected so fast. I wasn't sure I was still what was going on inside the head. But it's probably for the best. What? What's going on? What? What? Whose idea was it? I would describe her as scary. I mean, she was a type that was a little hard to get handle on, but still. I didn't know where we need to go. It's like just going to the Sabus for because we didn't feel like I was about to tell her that we should totally just forget about it because we started start fishing around her back. She finally pulled something. Up. Oh no, not the amusement park. Please not the amusement park. Whew! That's a museum though. Tomorrow we have provided us with tickets to the local museum. Not exactly what you expect for teenagers to pick. So does this mean the whole day thing was already set in the stone? I don't see if the answer was yes. the answer was yes. The museum was located away from the main street. While we were on our way there, I asked Kasim something that had been on my mind. It wasn't a huge museum with me, but it was a fancy sort of place that frequently held exhibitions, paintings, ceramic, and the like. It didn't seem very Kasim to me. Really? Really? <laughs> I just called you abductive? What? <laughs> what? Oh my Nanika say some dictaka. Was that really so special? Not that I got I was the one talking. Cooking at me went to went together. About as well as oil and water. Toriaizu oh my no yori wa oi to it. Kekyuk naniga concept on the engine and yo. That's when he flies tickets to that wicked gleam in her eye. Frankly, the text on text is so large it would be impossible not to notice, but... I was still holding a hood that I was just seeing, but if I wasn't there, it would 
It was straight out of the way to the gala featuring a song I, I was not interested in seeing. Question. Uh, keyword, not. Unfortunately, <laughs> my host were thoroughly crushed. There was no way to choose someone who just got out of the hospital. Eventually, we reached the museum, though, because we had to basically fight my me tooth and nail the rest of the way there. I spare you the details that were dragging me around the place after we got there. I prefer not to remember. And so. Kasumi <laughs> muttered an expiration while looking at the necklace knife known as Kuhakura. I couldn't help having a sour look on my face. The media said that these blue kinds of blades had made me nauseous for as long as I could remember. Why did she take me there in the first place? She knew full well I wasn't good with sharp objects. Hey, I'm not pathetic. <laughs> Her tone was generally furious. Unfortunately, there wasn't any, something I had a clear answer to. Is this something I hate in the or what? Did she like them? I just found it. ヘビとかは巻きつけると気持ちよくないひんやりしててさ。ワイルドパスはロジックスパックロースパンサーカスプレス。なんか言った気にするな。ええ、しっかり。ヒスタンボイ。ワイルドケースヒスタンボイ。
Jack would advise, there was a lump of steel designed for the sole purpose of obtaining ruthlessly effective efficiency. You like not find more suitable tools than for his task. But why is there a gill like why? Why was this thing like this even on display? It was a blade, yes, but it's different from anything else I had seen today on a fundamental level. Might have had a historical value, but it wasn't a weapon impediment of some ritual. More than anything though, I wanna know why I found myself drawn to it. As I finally caught up with the glass that goes from over my shoulder. よくこんなの見つけたね。えっと、何ボワード・ジュスティス。正義の柱。ギロチンの正式名だよ。あと、フランス語な。それからマクシミリアン・ロベスピエール。知ってるだろ ?18世紀の政治家だけど。恐怖
Looking back on things later, I would be able to say that this was where it had all began. Does my present live up to your expectation? Caratusi. And thus we have been brought together by him. I'm going to end it right here. Yep, this is where I'm going to end.